Okay guys, let's talk about dual mass flywheels. So this is my first video, such a kind of for repair. And I'm repairing cars for about three or four years. And I was always wondering, when you remove the gearbox, there is a clutch, there is a clutch slippering or something with the gearbox, and there is a dual mass flywheel. And how to tell it is bad or good? I was always wondering, because there can be free play and so on. So how much? So how much free play there can be? Uh, till the yesterday, when I do a little search in Google. So this one will be for the Hyundai Sonata. It was nightmare to get gearbox off, but okay, it's done. And here is the dual clutch wheel uh, for, from this car. And then then uh, the owner said that we will uh, put the new one, so I have this um, this opportunity to make a video. So how to test the flywheel? When you make search on the web, you fi find your uh, OEM number of the part, and after that I found the analog look. Um, code for the spare part and how to check it so there's some special tools uh, to make it like angle and measure the angle but in my case i have no such such a tools so there is another option to count the teats here are the teats here is the um one mass of the wheel and here is the second mass of the wheel so how you do it it's quite easy so you have to take a flywheel you can see how it's moving. This is the free play. I think it's too much, too much, really too much. This is still the free play. So how you do that? Uh, in the look catalog, you can read that the free play of this flywheel can be five these teeth. So how you do it? You will turn it uh, at the one side. You see the free play, right? You turn it to the one side. When you feel the power of the spring, compression so it's here you see you push it there and it comes back so this is the one position on one side now what we are doing we are making the stripe here and here right so the free play is five teeth so what you do you turn it opposite side turn turn when you uh, till you feel the power of the springs we are turning, turning, there is no uh, moving back. So we are turning, turning, turning. And now, you can see it comes back, so you are pressing the spring. Push it there and let it go. And now, make a stripe. So the stripe will be approximately here. And now, so, the there can be only five teeth. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the limit. And how can you see? Five, six, seven, eight. So it's almost twice as the factory shows. So this one is bad. Also, you have to check this motion. I hope you can see. Free play uh, in this direction. And the free play for the concrete is 2.9 millimeters. And now I will show you the brand new one. So manufacturer of this one is Zax, also not the not the worst um, <coughs> manufacturer. We'll do it like this, like like we done in the old one. So turn it here, and you can feel the spring, right? It's coming back. Let's make a stripe. Right, right. So here and approximately here. And turn it opposite side. This is the free play, you see. And when you feel the spring, it's here. Let's make a stripe. So, one, two, three. And the free play. I will not measure the free play because I know this is a brand new one and this is completely bad than the old one. So that's it, all the information you can find in YouTube, uh, not in YouTube, in YouTube there is not, not more uh, much a video of how to check flywheel, dual mass flywheel. So Google it, mm, find your numbers, find your measurements, for example for the Volvo dual mass flywheel, um, this free play is 60 or 17 grades.
yeah, angle, something like that. So feel free to comment, uh, put your likes, or don't put how you want. Thanks for watching.